so after learning the rectangle tool and various options now we are going to learn about uh, how to draw regular polygons so regular polygons as the name suggests is the polygon with uh, all the sides which are equal so first of all let me tell you what is a polygon and uh, how it is an important uh, geometry in terms of uh, in drafting so polygon is basically as the name suggests is a closed geometry uh, which is having many sides many means a closed geometry is having minimum sides of three so a geometry which is having a uh, minimum three sides or more than three sides closed geometry which is have more than three sides is polygon so poly means many and gun means side so here when it is a three sided polygon or a, when we talk about regular polygon means all the three sides are equal which is a scalene triangle uh, we say it's a triangle actually so it's a regular scalene triangle so if it is a four sides of polygon it is a square five is a pentagon six is an hexagon seven heptagon and then eight octagon nanogon decagon and so on so depending upon the number of sides the polygons are having the name so now in autocad you can draw polygons to represent a, a geometry uh, in a plan it can be a shape of a building it can be a shape of uh, any architectural elements shape so it can be i mean polygon can have different shapes a triangular shape or a square shape it can be a square column it can be a square beam or uh, it can be a columnate kind of thing so there are a lot of geometries can come out of the polygon so now let's see how the polygon can be created in autocad so we are using an imperial template over here imperial option and here we are in the autocad drawing area so now how to invoke the polygon tool so to invoke the polygon tool you have to go to the home tab and the draw panel is there and here we are with the uh, below the rectangle tool there is a polygon tool so if you click on this in the polygon tool so you find that uh, you know uh, the moment you click on it you find that creates an equilateral closed polyline so it talks about that means equilateral means all the sides are equal polyline is a line which is a single line having many segments so you can specify the different parameters of the polygon including the number of sides the difference between the inscribed and the circumscribed option is shown now what is an inscribed and circumscribed now what are the ways by which we can create a polygon so uh, let's come to the slide over here so next is a polygon can be created by two methods first is a circle method and the other is the edge method so thus in the circle method we have two options whether the polygon is uh, inside circle or polygon is outside a circle so when it is an inside a circle when it's assumed to be inside a circle a virtual circle then it is called an inscribed polygon so if it is outside a circle it is called circumscribed polygon so here we this is the polygon which is inside a circle here is a polygon which is outside a circle so when it is inside a circle it is a inscribed polygon when it is outside the circle it is a circumscribed polygon now let's see how do we create these polygons using different tools so here we have a rectangle and a rectangle below it is a polygon so you click on it so then there is an option which called enter number of sides so the minimum number is let's say if i 2 so it will not take 2 the minimum number is 3 so it says it can take a digit between 3 and 1024 1024 sides of polygon can be there so the minimum number of sides in a polygon will be 3 and the maximum number of sides would be 1024 now let's see how it works now let's suppose if i want to create a triangle so i say 3 the moment i give it there is an option called center of polygon so here basically it talks about the center of the polygon means when you call it yes yeah, center of the circle you don't have a circle but it assumes that there is a circle over here 
and the center of the polygon and the center of the circle is the same. So now let's say if I give a coordinate over here, like for example, it is 4 comma 4, I'm creating a triangle here, it is a octagon. So let's say I have center of the polygon is 4 comma 4. Now what it says that when you give us 4 comma 4, now it says that are you going to create the polygon inside a circle with center 4 comma 4 or outside a circle, you know, with uh, 4 comma 4. That means whether inscribed in a circle with center 4 comma 4 or subscribed about a circle with center 4 comma 4. So I say I want to create an inscribed polygon. So I say I or I can basically just get my mouse and click over here. So it becomes inscribed. The moment I click on it, it, you know, goes, uh, the, the, the polygon is supposed to be created and uh, it's showing the creation method and the center of the polygon is the center of the circle that is uh, not visible but it is there which is used to create the polygon. Now we will use the circle later on for the illustration. So the radius of the circle let's say for this point of time is 3 units. So a triangle is created inside invisible circle with center 4 comma 4 with radius 3. Now for illustration I am erasing it. Let us create a circle with center 4 comma 4 and radius 4 right now let's take the circle as an um, reference to create the polygon then it will we will have a better understanding of it so i go the shortcut for polygon command so either you can go from uh, you know this uh, tool called draw panel the draw panel the polygon or the uh, command the alias short command shot this P-O-L. So you can go P-O-L. So the polygon comes. So you enter a number of sides. The center point is 4 comma 4 and then you give a radius and then you say it's an inscribe in the circle. So you say I and then you write the radius as 4. Right. So now you can see that the triangle is basically created inside a circle with the radius 4 comma 4, 4 and center 4 comma 4. Now let's take uh, another example. We take another example called uh, with uh, sides, uh, let's say I will take a pentagon, I want to create a pentagon, so I say P-O-L polygon, so now I am taking the command as polygon and I say I want to create 5 sides, so I come over here and say center 4 comma 4 and I say I inscribe in the circle of radius 4, now you can see that it is inscribed in a circle of radius 4 right so let's take another example for the inscribed option now i will be using the menu bar to create the polygon so in the draw menu you can go with the polygon command over here and then here you can uh, say okay you need number of sides let's say six and uh, you have the center point as four comma four and uh, here you go and uh, i for inscribe and uh, you say the radius is four now you can see that the hexagon is created inside a circle of radius 4 with center 4 comma 4 center 4 comma 4 now this is the inscribed option so let us do a similar uh, so i erase it circumscribed option so i go with the polygon so here i there is a toolbar now within uh, in this class i'm introducing this toolbar which is a very old option to invoke tool so i am closing this let us see how we can invoke the toolbar to invoke the toolbar you know in the command write dash toolbar so the moment you write dash toolbar it will say enter the name of the toolbar so i want to uh, you know get the draw toolbar here so the moment i say the draw it will say enter an option show hide left right top bottom so i will say show so the toolbar is there so i just drag this toolbar this is a very old option of doing uh, tools in autocad i mean from the days uh, when it was in release 14 and then uh, release 2000 i mean nowadays people use it less but it is a very handy tool so here we have this polygon icon over here so you can click the polygon icon and uh, we will be doing this circumscribed option so let's say i go with uh, heptagon let's seven inside so it's a seven side polygon it's a regular polygon all sides are equal the center of polygon is four comma four 
and uh, here I go for circumscribed option and the radius is 4. So now you can see that this heptagon, right, it's circumscribed over a circle of radius 4, 4. So let's have the same heptagon inscribed inside the circle. So let's say I go to polygon, 7 side, center point is 4, 4. Now with the same radius and same center point, you can see that when I am going for an inscribed option, the will have a smaller polygon. So here we are. So now we have done with the option of uh, creating polygon of uh, different sides using the circle method. Now we will be going into a method where I know the edge. Let's say I have to create hexagon with side three units. So how do I do? So I go, I don't know the circle, but I know that the edge is three units. All the edges are three, three, three units. So I go with polygon and I say I want to create a hexagon. Now I select an option called E. So then you have the first endpoint. Now you give that the first endpoint of the hexagon is uh, let's say one comma one in my case. And then I click on it. And the next, I have to give the next point to define the edge. So I say at the rate, 3 comma 0 so with at the rate 3 comma 0 if I give so this particular edge is created which is 3 unit length and then subsequently the other hexagons are created now let's take another example so I have this let's say uh, erase it I have this polygon and the point is let's say 1 comma 1 and here uh, I'd say 6 and here I take the edge I will have a three units but the edge is inclined at 30 degree to the x-axis at this moment the first edge point is let's say 1 comma 1 but the next point is the length is three units but it is inclined at an angle of 30 degree so you find that you know a polygon the first edge you create at an inclination of 30 degree and the other edges are created subsequently so this is how I use the polygon command to create uh, geometries for a project. So in the next session, we will be covering some interesting tools, right? And uh, so we have covered this circle and this is the edge. So drawing a polygon by specifying an edge. So you have this, the first edge point, the second edge point, you can try it like this. The first edge point is 2, 4 and the second is 2, 2.5 and then, or you can go with the add the rate or whatever it is. And then you can see that it is being created in the anti-clockwise direction. So in the next we will be talking about polylines.